I have now seen this. Biden wants to give 500,000 Americans money to buy homes. Uh, I have seen this like four times this morning. It's December 9th. This is, it's completely inaccurate. Okay. What the actual bill is, is the Neighborhood Homes Investment Act. Okay. It was introduced on March 6th of 2023 uh, by Senator Cardin. He's a Democrat from Maryland. And then a Republican uh, senator backed it up. But it never went anywhere. It was introduced and it never passed Senate. It never passed um, the House of Representatives. But I, I will tell you what it says. The bill allows a business-related tax credit for certain development costs for the acquisition, right? So buying, rehabilitation, or remediation of qualified real property. Real property just means that it's got like a permanent foundation. This wouldn't count for like a, like a trailer home or anything. Um, they're limiting it to one to four units. Um, one to four residential units, a condominium unit, or a house or an apartment owned by a cooperative housing corporation. The bill also provides for the exclusion from gross income for income purposes of the value of any subsidy provided to a taxpayer by any state energy office for purposes of improvements made to qualified residents. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but that's word for word what the bill says. The exclusion from gross income. I assume it means that, like, if you guys remember, like, the stimulus package, they're like, well, if you make over 400000 like, you won't qualify for your, you know, your $700 stimulus. I think that's what they're trying to say is, like, there is no income exclusion. So you could say you were uh, a landlord and you owned a bunch of duplexes in Detroit and you were like, I'll take some money. You're not going to get opted out because, you know, you have... 10 million in the bank or you made, you know, a quadrillion dollars last year and you know you're like you're like the dad from home alone that goes brings his entire family to to Paris for Christmas, right? So like that guy would still qualify. Um as long as it has a permanent foundation, right? Real property. Um and it can't be any bigger than 4 units. Uh let me see. So I went to the website because I'm like, all right, where where is this going? Because remember, it was introduced in March and it hasn't gone anywhere. So this like this is just now making news, and it hasn't gone anywhere. Um. So this is what the website says: from a billion dollar invested, one billion. They're they're trying to push a a lot of billions, but this is for every one billion dollars invested. They are claiming on the website. 25,000 homes will be built or rehabbed. So that's $40,000 per house. You're not building a house for 40 grand. I can promise you that. Um, I swing a hammer all day. I know. Um, it will also do 4.25 billion in a development, 1.82 billion in wages and salaries, 1.25 billion in tax revenue, so what they're what they're saying is, and this is all listed. It says one billion dollars are injected into these one to four units um, is going to create seven hundred and thirty-two. I'm sorry, seven point three two billion dollars. Now, how they get seven point three two from one billion, I. I'm not really sure because it should be some sort of direct correlation. Um, I mean, unless you're buying, you know, seven percent treasury bonds, and you put the billion in there, and then it spits out the seven, the other seven billion. Um, I, I'm not really sure how you could pay one point eight two billion in wages and salaries from one billion. Do you give everyone an IOU? I, I I'm not really sure. I, I assume it's because of the. Um, fractional reserve banking we have so like if you put uh, i don't know you put ten dollars in the bank you can lend let like the bank can lend out nine dollars because banks don't actually create money they use your own money to lend out to artificially it's like synthetic money um so that's so that's what the bill is so please don't think that you're getting a house this bill isn't going anywhere um, the, this headline is completely misleading. I'm seeing it everywhere. Um, 
obviously you can see it's December 7th was the other day. It's not going anywhere. 500,000 Americans are not, you're not going to get a house. You're not getting money to buy a house. It's, it's not going to happen. Okay. Don't, don't get your hopes up.